I'm a beautiful family and welcome to another of my videos. Well, I'll actually film two different videos, maybe three different videos today with this clothes and the makeup, so you'll probably see this a couple of times. But I'm here today to review the new Jason Wu eyeshadow primer. If you know me, know something about me or watch some of my videos, you know that I'm obsessed with eyeshadow bases or primers. I try new all the time, I'm very curious to find some new interesting things and I heard that this is going to be a good one and this is a new brand on, um, I think it's a new brand overall, but it's a new brand on Beauty Bay too, so it's where I purchased it. It says, apply evenly to eyelids, talk with your favorite eyeshadow or eye glitters. Now, in this video, I'm, not in this video, but I'm going to create a makeup look with a new Colourpop and uh, Colourpop Cherry collection that I have. Here's that video is coming up on my channel, so I'm going to use that eyeshadow palette. Let me just take it out. Yes, the cherry palette. So I'm going to create makeup look with that. You're not going to see it here on this video, but you can see it in my future video if you subscribe, so you know. And so like this video, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified when I upload this review of this collection on my channel. But I'm going to wear this whole day. It's already 15 minutes to 1 p.m. but I'm going to wear it as long as possible. I have very oily eyelids so I'm going to set one side with powder and one side I'm not going to set with any powder at all. So if you are interested to see me applying this on my eyelids and try it out then please keep on watching. Okay, so this one says a full coverage ultra creamy eyeshadow base infused with vitamin E and B guaranteed to make your shadow more intense and last longer with no creasing or cracking, sorry, with no cracking. And you get 9.9 milliliters. This is how it looks in the packaging. This is the side and this is in shade 2. O2, you can see here. So let's open it. I haven't even opened it. I think Tati reviewed this brand. She tried a couple of products, but I only bought this one. Now let me know if you want to see me reviewing this brand a little bit more. But... And this is light, shade 2 light. Um, it comes in this plastic tube with an applicator. No, it's not an applicator, it's like a squeeze. This is interesting. It wasn't what I really expected. So let's take a little bit of the coffee. I'm trying to drink my coffee without sugar with stevia. I don't like the taste of that. <clears throat> I'm trying, but no. So I'm going to take in front, my mirror in front of me. I have a new mirror here that I'm trying out and I'm going to review. That video is also coming on my channel, so I have more lights. So let's see. I'm going to put a little bit of this on my... Okay, so there you go. On my finger. Oh, it's light. So we see the coverage. So it dries down very fast, which is very interesting. It does have coverage, but you can still see my discoloration. And I don't know if I want to apply more, maybe just a little bit more, so you can build it up. No, it just, yeah, you can build it up a little bit, but I don't like going too much in with eyeshadow base because my eyes will crease. And it's blending really, really nice, seamlessly. It's very light though it feels thick but it's drying down very very fast and you can see you can still see my discoloration let's go with the other eye build it up a little bit oh that's a lot of pigment 
I forgot to shade the packaging before I opened, so I did a little bit of that. Let's see if we can, yeah, build up the coverage. Yeah, definitely um, you need to shake it up a little bit. So it does cover more when the pigment is spread evenly. So I'm going to use my sponge and blend. Okay, so this is how the base looks. I really like how it's light. This is number two, so you can probably go, you can probably see the shade. And on my face, I'm going to, if I remember, I'm so bad remember those things, but if I remember, we'll put the information down below what I wear, but I do have the Catrice True Skin Foundation. Now, it's not my favorite Catrice Foundation. I, I tried to try it a little bit because well, let me just say, won't like it because thought it raves about it, but I do prefer the other one a little bit more, but it's not bad. So I'm going to set one of the eyes and I'm going to use, well, I don't know what powder I'm going to use. Yeah, I'm going to use Stay Matte from Rimmel, just because I have it here. And I'm going to use on this right my right, maybe your left, <laughs> so I remember, so I'm going to set it with some powder because I usually set, I always set my base because uh, if I don't do that, they crease, doesn't matter what the base I use, it creases, so this is going to make me crease less, probably, we'll see. And this I am not going to set, you see it's starting to crease already. But we'll see. I know the pigment from the eyeshadow, it's not going to be as intense as pigment than on the set side than it would be on not set side, but it's what I do. It's what works for me. So <laughs> can't say, argue about that. But I'm going to put the rest of my makeup on and film that video and I'll be back to tell you how everything blended and if you're interested to see more in details then check out that video that's coming after this one okay so before i finished my makeup look i just applied some palette and this palette on my eyes that will come on my channel now this side where i set the base it actually took a little bit longer time to blend the eyeshadow and also to make it as pigmented as it was on this side where I didn't set it. On this side everything blended smooth, the pigment was there, I just maybe needed to blend it just a little bit but here I needed to work out the shade so it works, it looks really nice on both sides but I just want to say that I, how everything blended I do prefer on this side where I didn't set it than I did but of course you'll always get less pigment and more work with the primer that you set with some powder before you go in with the eyeshadows that's just common sense but i did use colourpop eyeshadows if you're interested and i'll go and finish the rest of my makeup and i'll be back okay guys i'm back i just filmed the this video this makeup look and let's talk about the eyeshadow base hmm, i almost forgot about the eyeshadow base but i I like it. Like I said, it's very easy to blend the eyeshadow on the side where you didn't, where I didn't set with powder. And I thought it felt like it was uh, much easier to use it, and it blended effortlessly. Though it blended on this side too, where I did apply some powder, but it, it did take me some a while to to blend to come to the same intense shade than there was on this side so it needed more time to work uh, to come to the same results but i really really like it now it's 2 p.m and i had this off for an hour now so since 1 p.m i had this eyeshadow base on already for an hour so i'm going to go on with my day and i'll let you know later what i how it went, how it goes, how it wears, and how it looks after a couple of hours. So see you soon. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so shiny. Hi guys. Now it's almost 9 p.m. and I'm ready to take off this makeup, to remove this makeup, 
I haven't done anything to it. I haven't done anything, actually. <laughs> uh, you can see that my lipstick looks like crap. But let's just fix that a little bit with more of the color pop. Mm, still. Well, the lips look like mess, but we are going to remove this makeup soon. Okay. It's been around eight hours, eight hours since we applied the eyeshadow base. And let's see how that looks. Now we used, there it is. We used the Jason Wu eyeshadow base and or eyeshadow primer that it's called in shade two. I applied it on both the eyelids, on the right, my right, I don't know if it's your left, but on this eye, I did put some uh, powder on top and it is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, just to set the base. Usually I do that because my oily eyelids kind of work better when they are set, but you already seen everything. So let's look. On this eye, would we set with the powder. It did fade a little bit here, just a little bit here. It did fade, it didn't crease a lot, but the eyeshadow did fade the shimmer shades on this part of the eyelid. I don't know if you can see. So, but overall, it looks good. It looks good. It looks pretty good after so many hours. On this side, what we didn't set the base or eyeshadow primer it creased a lot it creased here it faded on both upper and lower eyelid and it creased a lot so it doesn't look good i don't know if you can, can scooch in a little bit more i do look coily sorry guys for that but this is the set base you can see here that it faded but you can see here how it looks awful and my foundation is starting to wear off a little bit take some oiliness away so i do like this eyeshadow base i'll definitely continue using it i do like how everything blends on top of it when i don't set it with some powder but i really like how it wears with some powder but i'll still continue wearing it and I'll still continue using it because i feel it's like it's a good product so definitely recommend uh, if you need something that will work for around eight nine hours if you have very oily eyelids though i will of course say set it if you then don't have oily eyelids i think this will work beautifully for you and it looks to be a really good base now i tried many 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 and i'm still preparing for that video that it's coming up soon where i review uh, around 15 if not even more eyeshadow bases or eyeshadow primers and it needs a lot of time you know wearing and trying and everything i do put a lot of effort and work in that video but i already have an old video i think two three years old with a couple of i think 20 if not even more eyeshadow bases or primers that i tried but a video will come soon but i really really love trying new eyeshadow primers and I know that even the high-end primers don't really work for a long time maybe maybe six five six hours for me with my oily eyelids even if I set it with powder now this is a really good it still looks good I still can see myself being at work with this eyeshadow um, and I do wear colorful eyeshadows at work too but yeah I like it. I do recommend it. I think it's a very good product. I'll continue to use it and I do like it. Please let me know down below if you tried anything from Jason Wu. Let me know if you want to see me reviewing more from that brand. And guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope you like this video. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe and hit that notification bell and see you in my next video. Love y'all. Bye!